I think the, the queen's queen. in Star Wars yeah. Episode Seven. <laughs> Any, anyone that's in England, everyone is, is in, in the movie. They're in the movie as extras, <laughs> and it's spelled C A N O N. It's not two N's. That's the canon. <laughs> <laughs> Different son yeah. is. Is the Star Wars Christmas special part of canon? <laughs> I, think, I believe that is the other exception. Because it has to be, because that introduced the Wookiee planet Kai Shack, and that's <laughs> part of the Star Wars it universe. It introduced Boba Fett. Boba Fett, and he came, he, then he's in all the uh, Star Wars. Uh, Four, five, and six. So, and I still celebrate Life Day. Yeah, I do too. Life Day, guys, you got to put on that Wookie little uh, uh, smock thing, and uh, hang out with uh, Chimby and Chulpus and uh, the Wookie Ch Chewbacca's other family, Grumpy, 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 whatever, or whatever it was. His name was. Um, Life Day, guys. So yeah, I, I think they just mi missed putting that into the quote, but I'm sure Lucasfilm and uh, Kathleen Kennedy, you guys will make a revision in about a week and say, you know, the Star Wars Christmas special is also part yeah. of mm -hmm. G Canon. And my rap album, G Canon, is coming out. Next week. Is that, that with so, one N or two N? Uh, it's one N. Oh, really? It's like I'm talking. I'm just doing all Boba Fett freestyle. It's a full-on rap album, all Star Wars-based themes. No John Williams. Uh, bites. I'll beatbox for you. Beatboxing by John Campia. Look for it on all the interwebs. I don't even think you've seen it. <laughs> I, think you, I think you fell asleep and had a dream about right, it later. Right. I just watched it again last week. It's incredible. Um, I'm most overrated for me. Star Wars. Just no. kidding. Oh, oh, no. What? Um, I, overrated. Like, I, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll, I'll say The Counselor because that's the film that I had the worst no, time at. No one was great. I love it for being overrated. Please, I can't think off the cuff. Yeah, right Jar Jar Binks is overrated. Yeah, I'll give you an overrated counselor. Flash for me. Oh, wait, I've got one that's overrated. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Overrated. But, mm. No, but I just thought of my favorite 80s action. <laughs> Conan the Barbarian! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw it in a yeah. theater empty with an old woman. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my friend were laughing about the movie the whole time. And she wrote the books. Yeah. It's cool. oh. And she wrote the books. Oh. <laughs> That's why she was crying. So yeah, she was crying, <laughs> weeping uncontrollably. So <laughs> They're ruining it. Super califragilistic. Expi Nobody does. That's mine. I just want to. Baby, you're the best. He'll save every one of us. <laughs> every man, every woman, every child. It's Flash. Oh. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> yes. As long as it's not like the cheesy like a, television oh, series. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to see it. What a weird movie to have as your all-time favorite film, Spring Breakers. There are other movies you could watch. He's like, I've just seen Spring Breakers every day for the last year. Every day. Spring Breakers! It's like, weird, strange. I respect your decision. And on top of that, everyone who's part of the Oscars have already, they're old enough to have seen Ben-Hur in the theater. So they're yeah. like, what's this, you know, heresy of remake? You know, They're going to feel about the remake the way you feel about the Raid remake. Exactly. I've already seen Ben-Hur. Right. I can't believe they're remaking Ben-Hur. Her. Yeah, I will argue that point. Oh really? I'd love to hear it. Playing, Change my mind, damn when it. When they were playing chess on the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> a lot of that stuff he did. He's the one who added that. He's the one who added all those I, movements. That's fine. He said somebody else couldn't sorry, do this. That's called acting, yo. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Like he is Chewbacca. If they got someone else to play Chewbacca, he wouldn't have those same movements. He wouldn't be Chewbacca. I, uh, that's but, my argument. Chewbacca's different. Like, watch the Star Wars holiday special. All those other Wookiees can get out of here. <laughs> Chewbacca's the only one. I completely agree. That's like, Fellman is like, oh, we're, you know, they pushed him out to take the fall. Like, yeah. you're the one who's going to be saying we're moving, not me. Get Fellman to do it. So he's like, forced out. At this point in time, being pushed off the ledge, we had decided we're not, ah, you know. Forget it. They're moving. See I, what I, I just like, did? So I, excited. I opened up the John Campia sweat basket. He just exploded. I was like, what if she was a uh, Sith? <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> I'd be so freaking excited. Yeah, it's awesome cast. Weird freaky hair, you know? <laughs> like doll hair as the Hulk. And little pajama slippers when he'd be running. <laughs> like, even as a kid, it's like, where'd the Hulk get those slippers? <laughs> You know, as a kid, I remember, I was like, he has green slippers. Anyway. You mentioned loving Optimus Prime. Me and my friend used to joke around, but this is probably true from childhood. There are, I mean, we all have our own moral compass, but there are three people who could influence me and tell me to do the most immoral things, and I will do it. <laughs> Santa Claus, Chewbacca, and Optimus Prime. Pretty good list. And if they tell, I mean, Chewbacca could tell me to do, and Optimus Prime could tell me to do. John, none most of those people are real. <laughs> <laughs> none of them exist. <laughs> Kill them. I Wait, say Santa Claus doesn't exist. 
Like right. he could One say, one of those people does <laughs> exist. Like, like Optimus Prime could say, John, go and kick that five-year-old child in the face, and I'd say, yes, Optimus Prime. Whatever you say, Optimus Prime. This just got really that's dark. Just, that's just where. That's just how I grew up. Right. World. I mean, I'm sure the dialogue's not going to be like Little Miss Star Wars. <laughs> you know, it's like, like them having like some kind of weird conversation while they're playing the space chess. But like, listen, I don't know if I'm going to do this. Like five minutes. Of or that. like Woody and Buzz. <laughs> right. You know? It's it's some strange conversation <laughs> in the field, and everybody's crying. It's not going to happen. That yeah. way. I, I will, I'll wear a tauntaun. Yeah, first I'll one. wear a tauntaun. <laughs> I would want to see that. Uh, definitely. I mean, if he's not in um, the Amazing Spider-Man Two, that's okay. They have like sixty villains, so I'm like, <laughs> hang on, I'll let J. Jonah Jameson have his spotlight in the Amazing Spider-Man Three. Everyone's asking about this one. Christopher Scalicki writes, "What do you think of this rumor that Sony is planning an Aunt May spinoff? I hope this isn't true." Avi Ared, you dumb idiot. You know? I just was like, what is wrong with you? I mean, there's, you, I can't believe it. Well, we canceled Venom to get this Aunt May thing happening. <laughs> kind of weird. What are they eating for breakfast? That's working. We, where's our female character? And Avi was like, yeah. this Gotham thing's working out. What about Aunt May? <laughs> Here you go. A couple other producers. Avi's right. <laughs> Uh, Aunt May! <laughs> Aunt May! Yeah, come on. Schnepp, how do they do it? As you know, as somebody who's done it in the adult film world, yeah. how do they pay you in the adult film world? <laughs> well, uh, under my name, Buffy <laughs> Jones, in the adult <laughs> film world. Uh, yeah, like day players. Buffy Jones. Yeah, that's, that's my adult film star name. Guy. He did play Schroeder, but it yeah. was not in a high school play. Yeah. What I'm most known for <laughs> is... Uh, Buffy anyway, Jones. Yeah, my Buffy I want a Jones Buffy role. Jones t-shirt now. <laughs> or ask it in a better way instead of calling him Baby Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> and the question is like, what about him as Baby Wolverine? No! No one is Baby Wolverine, ever! So, what? so I, I, I think... Is it Big Sweat? <laughs> freeze frame! <laughs> I didn't freeze frame it like what you, you weird super extra sweaty nerds. <laughs> yes, I noticed in the far left hand corner of the HD part where if you ma zoom in and then re-res it, I don't know how you found that. So congratulations, super nerd. Whoever found that, now we're now we're informed. We're all Symbiot. going to do it. Yeah, yeah. 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 where is mm -hmm. that Pruder frame? It's a spray frame. Um All right, so I've got the mailbag open. Let's pick one here. I'm gonna just start with Fictional characters, okay, coming from Anthony Perez. And the email reads uh, from Anthony Perez. Hey, all love the show. I'm writing because I want to play a little game with uh, all of you. Me and my friends like to fake game called Fictional Posse, which is basically a what-if scenario. Say the world is at war. Uh, government is crumbling in chaos. Uh, chaos is loose on the streets. The only people you could trust are the five hand-picked members of your team. These people will be your closest confidants and they will fight alongside of you into battle. What five fictional characters, whether from film, TV, or literature, would you pick to fight alongside of you? Mine are the Incredible Hulk, uh, Sam Winchester from Supernatural, the reprogrammed T-800, Blade, and Maximus from Gladiator. So choose wisely and thanks. Okay, so the first question is, we're going into a fight, the world's in apocalypse, we got to pick five fictional characters to be our posse. <laughs> Who do you pick? I will pick five Jaegers, and I will pilot <laughs> them all. all. It was just going to be me and oh, five man. different ones. Dennis piloting five Jaegers all at once? I'm, I don't even know if I could fight that. <laughs> okay, I will, a, I, will, I will take off Liam Neeson from the number five spot. And since Dennis is piloting five Jaegers, I will put Dennis Zen in my number five <laughs> spot. As all five Jaegers? As all five Jaegers. I don't know. How can I beat that? <laughs> Maybe perhaps with Beetlejuice <laughs> um, as my number one choice. Uh, <laughs> let's go with uh, uh, Garfield, the animated version, uh, Bill Murray voicing it. Because he's animated, yeah. you know? I mean, like, what, what is somebody going to do to him? How are they yeah. going to stop him? Yeah, you can't stop an animated cartoon. They're not even real. Um, let's see. Uh, Bizarro Superman. That's not bad. Yeah, from like uh, from one. the Superman from Superman Four, the cut edited scenes that are only exist on YouTube. <laughs> you could just search out Superman Four Quest for Peace Bizarro deleted scenes. <clears throat> that's the character that I'm picking. So that's three. <clears throat> the, um, the baby from Look Who's Talking. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I wasn't gonna say that, I will steal <laughs> Dennis Jaegermeister <clears throat> choice right here. And my fifth one is Black Bolt. So oh, that's he nice just one. he just shuts everything down when he opens his mouth. So 
A double bladed lightsaber? What's happening? <laughs> yeah. What? Losing yeah. control of all bodily functions. Yeah. John, would you have ever guessed when you saw that trailer that those cool robots on the flo- on those floating machines no. would be like, Roger, Roger? No. I never in a million years <laughs> no. thought that they would have the lamest dialogue and be like, beep, 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 Roger that. <laughs> I was like, Roger. wow. You know what? I, I still contend that George Lucas was like made the prequels. Like he was like, well, Star Wars was supposed to be like my Flash Gordon, so these prequels have to be even more racist. Yeah. And uh, so we'll have these guys, <laughs> and the Midians talk like guys. Have my kind of like the, we'll have them talk like Japanese, yeah. but these guys talk like uh, the, you know every single race racist yeah. kind of stereotype. You have uh, oh the guy who's got selling the gold. Hey, what's going on? Now let me sell you some gold. I got some of this. And then, yeah, the other guy's like, boop, 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 boop. and it's like, it's unbelievable. And even just having his kids name all the characters, that's not the biggest crime. The biggest <laughs> crime to me was like having all those racist voiceovers. That was unbelievable. We have to co- uh, disrupt all the communications yes, down yeah. there. And that was like, really? Right the really just say that? He really did say <laughs> that. And that's like right at the beginning of the movie. It's yeah. like one of the first things you hear. And you're like, yeah. what is going on here? Yeah. Am I imagining this? And then you have the... Uh, we don't even have to talk about Jar Jar stepping in poo and farting. And like, what's going on? Just an unbelievable cavalcade of crap. So Again, like, you come before us, your yeah. highness. Yeah. What was he saying? I How was he saying this? I am a stereotype from the 1930s. You did not understand what I was saying. Let me speak again in this very stereotypical accent. <laughs> they they even had the baseball announcers, which was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Two heads better than one. What's going on? Oh, my gosh. Here comes Anakin Skywalker. Yes, it's <laughs> pod racing. <laughs> Start phase A. So you already have like phase one, two, and three. <laughs> now begin phase A, phase a. which is like a complete reboot of the Avengers, but it's a comedy world universe. <laughs> so it's like Dumb and Dumber, but with the Avengers. So that's phase A. <laughs> and then immediately follow that with phase 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah. And that's like a hard, like kind of gritty, weird, like Frank Miller world, but it's the Avengers. So you just start making all these variant worlds and just start, hey, we got Splinter Spider-Man, only it's Carnage. Just starts out as carnage. We don't even know why. So that's one why. weird way to do it, right, guys? And they should start really soon, right? They should start tomorrow, right. I think, with all of the universes. <laughs> new new phases is what I'm saying. It's called the new phase. Phase one. Perfect. one. Phase 11. What's going on? I'm here in America, guys. Campia! Like, yeah, you could just go through, like, uh, hey, Jason Statham could play Lex oh, Luthor. Goodness. Or what about Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis <laughs> and The Rock. I'll, like, put all the three other heads together. We are Lex Luthor. You know, oh three heads. God. A form of maximization of exploitation across the world globally. Blah, blah, blah. I'm a robot. I'm really excited about it. If mm-hmm. they made a, a series, yeah. they could always kind of go, like, w- super weird and, like, have Walt Disney's, like, cryogenically frozen head. Like, here is a tale from my past. Tales of Disney. <laughs> Oh like just go a little like tales from the dark side, you know, tales from the crypt, but have Disney's floating head reactivated by a bunch of like by Mickey Mouse maybe, and he's like, you know, creator, tell us of the f- stories of your time. <laughs> uh, maybe that's a bad idea, guys. I don't have a story for yeah. you, son. Yeah. Hey, uh, just don't breathe too close to me, Dennis. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's still sick. He was like, hey, play a little Death Star. Hey, hey, is what he was just doing. And I was like, hey, man, he's up, he's up. Uh, some nerd at Midtown Comics is like, oh my god, look, it's official. It's not. <laughs> I don't have a video game player. <laughs> I'm going to buy it with one caveat that he is just all red and he doesn't, he's just a, a horrible, surreal vision of nightmarish <laughs> qualities no. throughout the entire movie. <laughs> Like the main character, just like I don't. It's like Marnie. Like I, I don't know. I, I, I think Cl- Clifford's right around here. So. <laughs> and they were like, "Look, we just have too many blue people, so we gotta, <laughs> we just gotta get rid of one of them." Uh, what about you, Schnapp? Well, I mean, I think they nailed it uh, with Spider-Man Three, right, <laughs> guys? <laughs> we did. We got Venom. It was awesome. <laughs> Spider-Man Three, remember? <laughs> With Topher Grace, he was a photographer dude, and then he had the goo drip on him. Ah, and then he had the big mouth. He's like, I'm going to kill Spider Man. <laughs> Wasn't that awesome? I don't, I don't know what else we could do with that character, Venom. He's been done already. I think he's been totally all used up in that amazing film, Spider Man 3. Yeah. Sing it with me. Give me the feeling. 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 Give me the fee
Uh, I didn't Someone's going to make a meme out of that, by That's the way. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Clearing my throat. <clears> throat. Ready to sing some more Eddie Vedder. <laughs> I was talking about this, uh, nerding out with a couple of friends like two days ago about this Daredevil. I think it would be great as a television series. I mean, Ooh. just think about it. Like, Matt Murdock's a lawyer. <clears throat> All those aspects that were in the extended director's cut of the Daredevil movie where they had a lot of scenes of him doing the legal stuff, which were also really cool. I I'm also one of those people that actually liked the Daredevil movie. So, um... I think Daredevil as a television series, and you can bring in Black Widow, like Scarlett Johansson, and do a couple of guest scenes in the TV series because she's a, you know, was a pretty big part of the Daredevil comic book. So, I would I would see them doing that and locking that in with Shield. Why not do Daredevil as a TV series? I think it would, it would build the character up. You don't have to put a lot of impact on it, making a big screen type of thing. It could be like a cool TV series, crime procedural, you know? I'm kind of disappointed that Daredevil went back to Marvel, unless they do it as a TV series. Well, I said before on the show, uh, I think Daredevil would be an incredible procedural television series. Now that they have S.H.I.E.L.D., they can open up the world with Daredevil. I mean, it's a, he's a lawyer. That's television right there. And you can have incredible cases fighting the kingpin and just make a, a really amazing, dramatic, almost like Breaking Bad style thing with Daredevil on TV. I think the movie, they already tried it. I'd, I'd much rather see him cinematically bound. You know, seeing birds hanging out, talking, just makes me want to throw up. Uh, I didn't see the first Rio just simply because of that. So, how you really feel. So the second Rio, animated style or not. You know, I got to say the trailer, if you watch it, the funniest part is that Black Panther, you know, almost vomiting out those birds singing. So that made me laugh. Something that had to do with vomit. I'm going to go cry in a corner now. Uh, for me, it's a buy. Uh, and I just want them to subtitle Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3, F you fans. <laughs> you know, it's sort of like, yeah, I guess we did Star Trek Into Darkness. I'll check it out. Spider-Man 3, what's up? Schnepp, have you ever tried to acquire or uh, like a, an intellectual property or had people try to acquire stuff from you? The only thing I've ever tried to buy is the moon. <laughs> and I, I talked to the people who own the moon and I was like, look, I will give you $10 trillion for the moon. And they... they they punted me back to Earth. How good was the Lego movie? I just came from the new Midnight Showings. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> I love this movie. <laughs> I'm going to sell it. No, John. This is, it looks like Matthew McConaughey is looking for Morgan Freeman and the Penguins. Mm. That's uh, cool. I prefer the Cocaine Volcano poster myself. Right. First. <laughs> like, let's, who cares? This movie is going to, I have no doubt this movie is going to be awesome and I can't wait to see it. But. To me, it's an underwhelming poster for such an exciting movie to be pumped up out of. That's just me. You're a tough I, critic today. You know, I do like it, but I was retitling it Cocaine Planet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, Matthew McConaughey, look at all the cocaine. That's a lot of rock. How high are your expectations for central intelligence? Incredibly high. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, as far as the movie goes, I would say... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, unless unless The Rock, like me, I was like 5'1", and then I grew over a foot and a half in one year in my junior year. So I was like kind of like bullied a little bit, and then everybody was afraid of me for no reason. I was still awkward and weird, only giant. But uh, yeah, so I, I would assume that that is what The Rock is going to be playing, and now he's a contract killer. How come everyone in the CIA is a murderer? Can't he just be a dude who's like, I've got to deliver a pack? Yeah, there, we were surrounded by clouds of purple stank, and then we also came up with this crazy spy ring drama that takes place in the 60s it's called uncle ben <laughs> and even if he even if he does die no one really dies look at colson <laughs> like no one really dies in these comic book movies so schnepp would you buy or sell a new title for the amazing spider-man 2 well i spent about 12 weeks in brazil uh working on these tv shows back in 2004 and when i went to uh just check out some of their DVD stores. The movie Dune, David Lynch's Dune, was called Lost Desert. So <laughs> you just might as well throw away. They had like a bunch of everything's retitled and changed. I totally dig like what Marvel does for the Dark World. I don't need a two. I'm happy with the, with not having the numbers. So Spider Man, Rise of Electro, the third one could be like you know the, the you know Mysterio appears or whatever. It's a horrible title. <laughs> Mysterio appears. No one appears. would ever use Mysterio appears. <laughs> Uh, but you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I, I think it's great. I hope they, I hope it's a, the American title, Rise of Electra. There's too much of this Rises stuff. We yeah. got Dark Knight Rises, or Rise of the Guardians. Of. <laughs> rises or Age of. Yeah, man. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So yeah, I don't want to see that. I, I, I'd re I don't mind not having the two, but find another title. Dennis, what about Age of Electro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Mark Webb, you're a big nerd. That's all I got to say. <laughs> uh, and also, that, that poster, that, that picture reminds me of like Rocky Three. Snap, buy or sell the sounds of Patient Z. 
I buy it. I mean, I guess he's going to just hear them saying brains. <laughs> That's all he's. I can, can you say anything else than brains? I know, I know you want to eat brains. What else are you thinking? Let's schnapp. What do you think? Yeah, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. That just that line that Daniel said, and we're still that stupid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just made me bust out laughing because I can't wait to see them be that stupid again. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm way over the moon, completely excited to see it. Bring next year now. Schnepp, how do you see it? If I had to put 98 nothings, <laughs> I'm going to say he's going to be, he's, he's the perfect vision. He would be the perfect vision. He even looks like the vision. He talks <laughs> like a robot. He's got, I, what do you mean? This is just my normal voice. <laughs> he already sounds like the vision. Slap him in red paint or green paint, or they can make him ghosty looking. He looks like the vision. So when I, when I heard that he might be giant man, I was like, come on. No way, I don't want Giant Man. That's just like, I mean, I, I'm more interested in Ant-Man than Giant Man. At least yeah. Giant Man is just like, look, I'm just a normal dude who just grew like five times bigger. <laughs> and then I'm not running around and stuff. It's like, it's like you know, that's all the bad problems of a, a superhero movie. We're like, where's Giant Man? He's in the, where do you, he's in the plane, airplane hangar. <laughs> where, where else could he be? He can't fit in a normal uh, meeting room. Yeah, at the McDonald's. I'm Giant Man. Yeah, it's like he causes all the problems <laughs> that, you know, Ant-Man is like, yeah, he's in, he's right here. He's in my mouth. <laughs> you know, it's like he's not a problem to carry around. Him and Wasp are both inside both your ears while you're running, <laughs> talking to you and telling you what to do. Anyway, I hope he's the vision. That would be amazing. Deep Throat was a movie that transformed a lot of people. I myself was touched by the movie. <laughs> and uh, I can't, I mean, I great, think. Great Ama choice of words. Amanda <laughs> is a. Uh, you think you're better than everybody else? I guess I'm kind of floating on my own cloud. Uh, <laughs> hey, look. Warner Brothers, come at me. I'm ready, I'm ready to rock some stuff. Marvel, you know where I'm at. Bring it. I'm right here. I'm ready to rock. Are you, you know? ready for Marvel <laughs> Phase A.1? That's right. <laughs> Coming at you, son, with like Next weird <laughs> spider crawl creatures. Phase 11, you know? So. I had like a four. This. This is when you know you're really a loser, when you and your buddy have like a 45 minute discussion in depth about whether they should keep the twirling transformation of Wonder Woman. Me and my friend had like a 45 minute discussion about this like last week. So it's so cool this came up. Uh, I just want to know who your friend is that was arguing for it for 45 <laughs> minutes. No, dude, see the whole thing about the spinning, you don't understand is like 45 <laughs> minutes, all right. Happy birthday to you. Duo style. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my friend Stephen Daly at the St dailystevenart.com. Or it's uh, the dailystephen.com art, or it's the art of Daily Steve. It's Stephen Daly. Just look it up on Google. He's an incredible artist. Happy birthday to you. Hey, John, I have a question. In the Amazing Spider Man movies, do you think we see Madam Web in series with the Beyonder? Uh, they have all the Spider Man across the dimensions, time, space, have, this is the, a little hard for me to read, have Ben Riley, others, plus you could Toby Maguire and Hulk cast Mark Webb and Sam Raimi and maybe Miles Morales in there to have Sinister 12 mm. um, be bad guys with Green Goblin, have a time dimension device like the 90s cartoon. Um... If you do, Stan Lee wife has played. <laughs> this week on how to not write a sentence. Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, Here, I'm just gonna run on and type really quick of all the things that I'm thinking of and not actually make any sense of it. You come up with stuff. So has played Madam Web. Uh, this. You're not gonna get your your questions answered correctly if you don't actually form a complete sentence because it's hard for us to figure out what, and I'm being serious, it's hard for us to figure out what it is you want us to tell you about the Sinister 12 if you just type really quickly, have Sinister right. 12 and Morales in, what about Black Cat, Green Goblin, what? Exclamation mark, strange backward symbol, flying super creature, is Cat involved? Which cat, are you talking about Black Cat? I don't know. Uh, uh, just write a full, se a for fully formed sentence, and then when we read it, it'll be like, "Oh my God, we totally understand what you're talking about," because you took the extra six seconds to type those necessary other words. So just try it out. I'll stop being a jerk about it. So, um, so <laughs> I will try and guess. Basically, I I'm thinking that he wants like all these Spider Mans to like come together in one movie, and so that you can have. Uh, 
the Tobey Maguire Spider Man maybe, and the Adam or not Andrew Garfield Spider Man, and then uh, Ben Riley and a Miles Morales. Is he asking if that will ever happen, or if he's going to get back on his meds so that he can write a better <laughs> insane question? Uh, I don't know. I just I don't get it. Hey, read it really fast. See how no, fast you can read it. No. All right. No, I, I can't. Um, but is I, it is that I, what he's asking to get all of them in one movie? I think so, and just have like I look. My answer to that is yeah. it's it's. It's too much. Even if you could do that, you wouldn't want to because right. you, you're just going to convolute everything. You don't need to make, make it that complicated. You don't want fans to just get confused why, by what they're watching. Like, why right. is this Spider-Man here? Why is Tobey Maguire here? Why is this other guy who's um, Peter Parker's clone that looks just like him here, too? It's what? just too you know confusing. What? But I get it. Like, uh, this is one of those those uh, questions that I don't think you really think would ever happen. It's more like, wouldn't it be cool if, like, someone made a super edit, like a trailer with all these different scenes from, like, here's the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, then weird wormhole. Here's the, you know... The, the Garfield Spider-Man, then Strange Absorbo Wormhole, then cut away Iron Man and the, all three versions of the Hulk all in one film. Like, what? Yeah, it's the Mark Ruffalo Hulk running towards the Edward, Edward Norton Hulk. I mean, and, you can cross-cut. And, and then Eric Bana. Comes yeah, up. Eric Bana just starts crying like the baby, like soft Hulk. Like, like slab-like Hulk versus extra muscular Hulk versus like gorilla beast Hulk. So you have all three of those films. Call it Three Hulks. And then just throw Spider-Man in there for no reason with a weird wormhole. Then cut away to Batman, like sitting on the toilet, like mm, like a really extended, like what is this? We're, we're throwing some DC and Marvel at you at the same time, man. It's called wormhole, son. And the director of the upcoming film, The Death of Superman Lives. What happened, Mr. John Schnepp? I spent my weekend uh, going to uh, a psychedelic rave art show <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, uh, recovering and trying to get the files off of a drive. Just cool stuff like that. You are a party animal. Freak style. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got you guys all beat because I was in New York with Spidey. Oh. Oh. Just saying. You win. Oh. You win. Yeah. yeah, the Star Wars makes total sense, the budget. I mean, especially doing practical effects giant practical sets where they're trying to not just have somebody act against a green screen, actually build the sets. That's really important. So that makes, you know, that's what I want out of my Star Wars movies. I don't want like a bunch of weird 3D stuff with fake shadows and people's eye lines are off, you know. Jar Jar Banks. Yeah, I don't want a Jar Jar Banks. Maybe, who knows, maybe he'll be in there. <laughs> All ancient, Amisa's still around, you know, <laughs> on a walker, you know. Um, bring them all back, bossa, ha ha ha, that guy. <laughs> Get them all back in there. Come on, JJ. Snap a buyer sell shooting the three Avatar sequels at the same time. I totally buy it. I kind of wish they would shoot five and six. I'm not like, well, like <laughs> why is it four? Like Spider-Man four, Avatar four. What's up? Get five and six going. Shoot them all together. That's what I'm like. It's, they make television series. They shoot 22 episodes. You can make six movies. Let's do it. I'm all for it. Um, I And I also am for them pushing it to 2016 because 2015, we're all going to be dead. Seeing like eight, <laughs> there's 800 movies over there, all like, I can't, we'll be broke, crying, too much popcorn, shattered spirits. How are we going to survive 2015? Push Avatar to 2016. I'm cool with that. And you also get that when you could have like a mediocre script and an amazing actor and then a mediocre director. You get that Jeremy Irons Dungeons and Dragons scream, <laughs> I will destroy you. You like that. My mind just went to that, like, yes, please scream louder. Well, I, no inflection. No, just yell the whole time. You're angry. You know, it's like, that would also, you don't even know what the script was because it just destroyed. Th so, I'm going to be thinking about Dungeons and Dragons all day now. Thank you very much for that horrible memory. Go ahead, Schnapp. No! <laughs> no more. Can you just stop? Just make an animated one. Hey! No, don't even do that. Don't, just no more. There's only three of them. The fourth one is like a weird, strange mistake that everyone's embarrassed about. They have to shuffle kick it into the Blu-ray. It doesn't even fit into the three Blu-ray. There's a fourth one that's <laughs> wedged in there. No. No. I'm, I'm just super excited that Harrison Ford is going to play Han Solo in three more Star Wars. That's what I'm excited about. Can we stop with the Indiana Jones stuff? Just stop. Agreed. You know, the same all, way the, in all those monkeys had Shia LaBeouf's hairstyle. <laughs> I remember that's when I was like, I almost walked out of the movie theater because I remember that monkey has his like the greaser hairstyle. All the monkeys have like swoopy 50s hair. <laughs> what is going on? I remember my mind. According to reports, the new film will be called London Has Fallen and we'll see Butler, Eckhart and Freeman return. Jeanette, buy or sell London Has Fallen. 
All I hear is the clash. London falling. <laughs> up, but, but I saw, yeah, so uh, no, I sell it. I think, you know, I'll admit I didn't see the both of the White House Explodo movies. I know Chris Lee was talking about how she loves to see people explode. Where's Giant Man? He's in the, where do you, he's in the plane, airplane hangar. <laughs> where, where else could he be? He can't fit in a normal uh, meeting room. Yeah, at the McDonald's. I'm Giant Man. Yeah, it's like, he causes all the problems <laughs> that, you know, Ant-Man is like, yeah, he's in. He's right here. He's in my mouth. <laughs> it's like he's not a problem to carry around. Him and Wasp are both inside both your ears while you're running, <laughs> talking to you and telling you what to do. That's actually, now I think about it, a young Yoda would be amazing. What about a newborn baby? Smooth Yoda. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, can't even me, handle it. Give me baby powder. <laughs> me need. <laughs> Vin Diesel's on those weird jumpy sticks. Look how tall, <laughs> look how tall he is. I, th I think they're both standing and he's gonna scrimp away like, look, I'm still Groot, you know? And I feel like this is my big fat box office bomb. That's what's happening. <laughs> I, it's just gonna fail hard. Yay, hello to my little robot friend. You know, it's like. Yeah, <clears throat> I just saw the footage that I saw on, on Dennis's Surface Pro mm -hmm. 2 plug. Um, and I can't believe that Campia walked away. <laughs> I mean, what was on his mind? He wanted a coffee, he had to use the bathroom. I, how could you do that to Robert De Niro? <laughs> you think you're some, better than everybody else? I guess I'm kind of floating on my own cloud. Um, <laughs> hey, look, Warner Brothers, come at me. I'm ready, I'm ready to rock some stuff. Marvel, you know where I'm at. Bring it, I'm right here. Where Spock's like, Con! That's what I think really rubbed Trekkies wrong. Oh, yeah. were, I loved it. I loved it, because it was just, I, they, they were like, it. I can't believe they even use the same dialogue. Oh. It's like, I know, wasn't that awesome? They're like, no! I wish, wish there was. Yeah. Yeah. Mayor, you're Mayor Hollywood. He's like, yeah, come before me, like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> no gun girl yeah. too. Sitting on a giant <laughs> marshmallow. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. I nominate John Schnepp as Mayor of Hollywood. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I got Renard. Or that, that, that's not like, that's not a <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's like Ben Affleck's, don't try to runner me. Right. <laughs> I'm going to be Batman in this movie and this movie. You're not going to replace me. I'm not getting rennered. This is not Yeah, no one's saying that. He's in like, the guy's like in so many films. Right over there, the mayor of Hollywood, Mr. John <laughs> Schnepp. Schnepp, where can people find you online? You can find me at Twitter and Instagram at John Schnepp and at TDOSLWH. And I keep looking, every time it cuts to you, you have Meryl Streep behind you. It looks like, just cut over to John for a second. <laughs> and you see like, yeah. it looks like she's like, I, I keep get hearing it. the Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm like, is it? Does, is she looking at him? Like the eyes keep moving. I keep thinking something's gonna happen. And you have Paddington. And you have Paddington. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my blender? <laughs> yeah. Schnapp, how would like would you be up for for uh, a John Stewart? Not talking about the uh, the Daily Show. Sure. No. Uh, regardless. The I, Daily Show I host like as John, John Stewart. Stewart as John Stewart. Now that you brought it up, um, in the all comedy version of Green Lantern with Jack Black in it as well, and Robert Schmeigel's got to direct it. A lot, lot of people know who Bruce Wayne is. If you say who's Bruce Wayne, oh, he's Batman. Right. If you said who's Hal Jordan, be like, is he part of the One Direction? <laughs> is he one of those guys? He's doing like synchronized dancing. You know, it's like, and I love the Hulk. I remember he had a TV series for seven years. Bill Bixby wandering around, crying in the corner. Remember that? Like, it was like, Did you ever turn see into the, the, Hulk the and, like, TV movie with the Hulk and Thor? Yes, and it's horrible. <laughs> I was so oh. awesome. It was awesome. Oh, oh, I remember oh, laughing oh, so much when I saw it. Oh. And then they did one with Hulk Daredevil. and Daredevil. Oh. He's in a ninja suit. Yeah, King and then they had did, these weird like Terminator glasses. Oh yeah, you know? with like I think wasn't the dude who played Sala in yep. uh, Indiana Jones? Didn't he play he King Kingpin? King King <laughs> with these like oh, I just had eye exam glasses, like these giant black glasses and a cane. He wasn't yeah. bald. He was just like just floated away in a weird pod at the end. <laughs> Jeff, I know you've been you've done extra stuff for other types yeah, of things. Yeah, it's weird because the the movies that I was extra in, I was like I was in college and I snuck in. So I didn't I, I snuck in and like even the extras were like, what are you doing here? I was like, shh. So I was in Ferris Bueller's Day Off in the giant uh, dancing scene at the very end, uh, Shake It Up Baby, and then uh, uh, The Light of Day with uh, Michael J. Fox. I'm in that scene, like, drinking a beer in the background. <laughs> but all those I just snuck on to the set, so I didn't get a voucher. They're like, everyone with a voucher, come on over. And I was the only person who didn't have a, a, a winter coat. 
So they're like, who didn't bring their winter coat? I was like, I got actual wardrobe and I was not even supposed to be there. So it was a lot of fun. So just My role it. in the light of day, which I was not even supposed to be there, Dennis. Do not. Yeah, all those people who were like, like screaming, Spidey, Spidey, yeah. while the rhino's shooting at them. Those are extras, folks. Schnepp, what about you? What, what's going on with the third films in these comic book series franchises? Well, he didn't mention Superman 3. Obviously the best Superman. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's not true. He's right. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I re- you know, he really mentioned something, and there is a conspiracy out there. It's the third film. So, you know, the third one, they're like, everyone's tired. They're like, just make it, finish it, put it into a box set. I don't know. I'm out of here. Where's my check? I don't know if that happens or not. I ser- you know, But I, I loved Iron Man 3, so I don't think, you know, that's like, I don't think that falls into that conspiracy theory of the third film blowing. Uh, I didn't like uh, Dark, Dark Knight Rises falls definitely into that zone for me. But, hey, everyone's opinion is different, you know. I mean, I know Dennis loves Spider-Man 3, right? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Emo Peter Parker. Emo Peter Parker. Yeah. Based off the, the story we did the other day when Schnepp said, that looks like a cocaine volcano. <laughs> John Schnepp in Cocaine Volcano. <laughs> he's looking his face. Like, I look at, and I like this tagline, mankind was born on a volcano. Let's fly high. <laughs> All right, what's next? Oh, that's uh, so Dawn good. of the Planet of the Schneps. Yeah. I think that's just with the one little red stripe down it. All right, it's next. This uh, is uh, one of my favorites. <laughs> the the Schneppable Me. Yeah. And if you look at like, <laughs> everybody's in there. Chris Lee climbing up the scarf. Amy Rose that's apparently so being piggyback. I don't know. That's, that's, and I just love the uh, Schnepp as the uh, minion. That's pretty cool. You're Gru. I, that's awesome. And I'm Gru. It's so great. I, I've almost got the nose for it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More, more modern one. Neighbors. Neighbors. Family versus threat. Is there another one? Oh, yeah. John <laughs> Schnepp, Schnepp. This is one of the first ones that got sent in, actually. I thought that was a really creative title, too. Mm. All right. What's next? Schnepp, Schnepp up. up. This, this. This one. Oh, yeah. Schnepp, just, <laughs> Schnepp just walked. Silver Samurai, like, gets his, you know, armor torn off, and there's the old man. He's like, ha, ha, ha. What's up, Wolverine? It's me. Boo. Like that. His face flash frames to Stan Lee for like one second. Are you really? Yep, it's an electrical shock, and then it's Stan Lee's face like going eh, like that, and then he's also on Viper's tongue, like a little tiny Stan Lee when she's like does this quick thing. It's a little baby t- Stan Lee's face. Shut up. I'm just saying, you guys. I'm gonna look for that. I'm gonna look for it. You gotta freeze it. frame this stuff. <laughs> Where do you find this stuff? I'm making it up. <laughs> oh my god! I was like on his tongue. Come on! <laughs> a little tiny baby Stanley. Like, Come on! Like a lot of effort yeah. for something yeah. no one's gonna Man, see. Man, it took about four months. Dennis, for this can we one make that die. happen? He totally had to 3D model <laughs> Stanley's face and then put it on a tongue and make it look realistic. And I watched both versions. They have the regular U.S. version and then they have the international version, which are base and they show a lot of different footage. Usually when they do the international versions, they're like maybe five, ten seconds longer yeah. and switch out one or two shots. There's entire sequences that are in the international version that are different than the regular version. Mm. Both versions are incredible. And uh, I now I'm super excited about this movie. You know, I was on the fence about it, and I was like, ah, Singer, Giant, Jack the Giant Killer, Brian Singer. <laughs> I don't know what he's got to offer right now, but I think redemption is coming for Brian Singer, <laughs> at least for me. I was like... Wow, every scene felt good. I, and I love the way, it just felt like X-Men and X2, the yeah. way Wolverine was directed and the way, if I felt Brian Singer's touch on this film in those trailers and in the sequences, just the way Hugh Jackman was acting, everything felt right. Yeah. All the action scenes look incredible. It looks, and from this, from this new trailer, you can kind of piece together a little bit more of the story and how it's gonna flow. And it looks exciting. I can't wait to see this film trailer. I think I watched it like six times. And then I was like, <laughs> what? The international version? This was at two in the morning. I was like, what are you trying to do to me, singer? It's like dropping it all late. I don't know. So I can't wait to see this movie now. It just, it just went all the way up. It's not goofy. Yeah. It's not a farce. It's not like, hey, what's happening? Just stumbling, tripping with their face in a pie. or any, It's not jokey. It's deadly serious. It's, it's got that same vibe that, that Chronicle had. So I'm I'm really cautiously optimistic about lo- really digging it. Mm-hmm. Everything I've heard about it so far, even though originally when I heard about it, I hated it because it, the origin is not the same. Everything is different. As long as Doctor Doom doesn't have electrical powers and there's yeah. not Galactus as a cloud, 
because otherwise I'm coming for you. Um, I don't read comics. Or she's like, I just haven't read a comic. So Mara, read some comics. I'll send them to you. I'll teach you. I'll teach you which good comics you should read. I should have been pumped up when he's riding with those Velociraptors, but all I heard was like a ting, fa 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 fa. It was like some weird. Yeah. And, and you know, maybe I'm gonna I've been... sample that and make that my ringtone. <laughs> you just I will do that into your phone. Well, I heard they they haven't announced it yet because he's still working on Green Lantern too. He's waking up. Yeah, what's that sound? <laughs> e, e, like windows, dump truck of millions of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Way of, gets on the surfboard of money. That's just like. That's I my think, dream right there. Yeah, surfboard I think that's what money. happened to Greengrass. He's like, I'll never. Yes, accept that. Yes, yeah, Swiss <laughs> bank account. This weird Hummer, just blow it up for no reason. All right, I'll do it. You know. Schnepp, what about you? Um. Well, anyway. <laughs> oh, hey guys. Sorry, I'm just looking at this really cool uh, Star Trek Enterprise uh, metal um, <laughs> statue thing that I got. What's what? Uh, Star Trek in the Darkness? <laughs> and it was, I think it's the best movie of the summer. To get all the fuck, the, all the guys. Still governor. I'm you here. Know. You know, if you need yeah. me, I'm here. Just yeah. give me a call. I give you five minutes. <laughs> Come on. Five. Come yeah. on. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we should all do honor. Yeah. Um, and. Schwarzenegger, you're going to be reading my script, Santa Claus versus the Martians. <laughs> and you're going to be Santa Claus. Is that Jingle All the Way, Seymour? I'm, I'm writing it right now. It has nothing to do with Jingle All the Way. Arnold Schwarzenegger is Santa Claus right. with and a you know giant what? gun. I really to... want him to do King Conan. I don't want to hear about it again. I've been hearing yeah, about it yeah, for, yeah, forever, for 20 years. I want to get Emilius' version of that, though. Right? That, that's, Come on. Yeah, just wrong. bring him in as yeah. a consultant. Because yeah. it's like, those guys rocked it. Yep. Conan the Barbarian, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, you were just born in like 1983. <laughs> Watch, the Watch Conan yeah. the Barbarian. Yeah. It's great. Or you know. Schwarzenegger, what, 43 minutes into the movie before he has his first line? Right. <laughs> the, the, the cries and lamentations yeah. of their women. Just the soundtrack alone. Basil. Come on. <laughs> Who's Darth Maul? That double lightsaber. What's right. going on? Fighter right. Menace. Right. I can't wait. <laughs> a year later, crying in a corner. What happened? <laughs> yeah. Just freaking out. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Remember the Star Wars Christmas special with Chewbacca and his family? The Grumble first for... time we saw <laughs> Boba Vett, my friend. Yeah. With his little friend Chubbles, the little baby uh, Wookiee, and they were all on the crystal planet Kaishak, the Wookiee planet. Yep. And they had a light day. Remember that? Yep, light day. And Princess Leia yeah, sang day. the song. That was really fun. I think Neen Noob has to have his own movie. I want to see... Uh, I want to see Big's Dark Lighter, the uh, the <laughs> early years on Tatooine where he's just getting drunk talking about the rebellion. <laughs> young Grievous, wouldn't that be great? Oh yeah, well, Young, young uh, Grievous. When he only had three arms. Uh, the Saga of Salacious Crumb. The Solo <laughs> Adventures of Bib Fortuna. My Name is Forlom. <laughs> Mission Dangar. It's it's limitless. You can all these movies be just so amazing. As opposed to make stuff that would be really, really amazing. <laughs> like in 3D, Jabba. It just, just, you know. They just want to keep making money off the franchise. That's yeah, all it is. Yeah, but there's better ways what to about, do it. Yeah. I got a cool visual for you guys. World War Z, like all those stupid zombies running. What if it's like uh, 5,000 Jabba the Huts? Like all those like, <laughs> moving a weird worm type thing. Like, it's Jabba and his minions. And they're all like coming at you. Like, <laughs> I go see it. it's all CT, yeah. guys. Thousands of slugs. <laughs> well, we'll see. Um, all right, let's. Like I said, I, I love robots. Yeah. So I was like, oh, cool. You know, everyone's into these like transforming robots and stuff. I yeah. mean, I didn't watch the cartoons, but I'm going to check the movie out. And I remember a lot of fans were sort of like the people, my friends who loved the Transformers were mad about the first one because they're like, the robots look weird and they're all spindly. Yeah. They're not like thick and, yeah. you know, kind of, they don't really transform from a truck to a robot. They're, a lot of liberties are taken, like weird stuff's popping out and. So they can look a little bit cooler, I think, was the idea, you know, for, mm -hmm. you know, for a movie instead of a cartoon. So that being said, I hated the first one. <laughs> I really, it's not for me. It's yeah. like there were scenes where like the Transformers were hiding behind, behind I a hated house. hated that. Oh, man, I'm so And then the dog page. took the pee, uh, pee on the, <laughs> it was like, what kind of humor is this? It's obviously for children. So yeah. why are adults into this? I never really got it. Transformers 2. Revenge of the Fallen. Yeah. Saw that in New York and I could not wait for it to end. Yeah. I remember just sweating mm. in the theater. I mean, I like watching Megan Fox run in slow motion, but that that got boring after yeah. like all these I was like, wow, how many more hours are we gonna be in the desert? They right. keep dusting and then another robot shows up and 
I was bored out of my mind and with that one. And you torture yourself with the third one? Now, here's the weird thing. You like the third one. I liked the third one. The third one. It's I like the spectacle of Transformers 3. I like the destruction of Chicago. I lived in Chicago for 12 years, so seeing Michigan <laughs> Avenue just torn up was exciting as all hell. So I was like... It was a lot of fun for me. I liked Leonard Nimoy's voice mm. and the, the constant <laughs> references to Star Trek 2. is like, the one must outweigh the many. I was like, how are they using a ripping off lines from Star Trek 2? And it's a robot yeah. up on top of the Tribune building saying, <laughs> I'm into it. It was weird. I got to say, like, you know, if I was doing a spoilers and I had to like, hey, list the positives, I'd say the first three minutes. That, that Decent three minutes. Yeah, like because Decent three minutes. <laughs> seriously, like after all these all these yeah. trailers, I was like, man, I'm gonna see like the, a robot riding a dinosaur robot with a sword. That looks awesome. So I was really kind of sold on the movie. I was yeah. like, yeah, all right, I like three. Okay, this one's gonna be pretty fun. I'm sure. The movie begins. We're in like Pangea, a couple weird little little tiny lizards wandering like, ooh, like a shadow goes over one. <laughs> Some giant weird owl looking ship comes in and just starts messing stuff up. Volcanoes. <laughs> All the dinosaurs are running. I'm like, oh, no, that's how the dinosaurs got killed was a transformer. Right. Yeah. Bam, credits, a plane flying over. You're like, I'm in. I'm in, man. Yeah. I remember looking at my girlfriend, Holly. I was like, all right, man, this is going to be pretty cool. High five. <laughs> High five, babe. And then the humans start two talking. Two hours, 45 minutes. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah instant suckage. Yeah. The it's second just, the humans start talking, it's, it's over. Yeah, and, and for the rest of the movie, I literally got up. I think it was an hour, 45 min minutes in to one of the inane action sequences that just never ended uh, in between horrible dialogue and really bad acting. <laughs> which part? Uh, it was the one where they were on lockdown, which the Schnauzer kind of, he was cool looking. I mean, a lot of the graphics and stuff are yeah. really great. I that's, mean, yeah. you, can't, the design, you can't deny the special effects. The design right. of yeah. lockdown, if I just saw five, and that's why I kept, like my ultimate review of this is if you just took any random five minutes of it and it showed it to somebody, they'd be like, oh my God, that's right. incredible. Because right. yeah. they're not, they're, you don't have to see the rest of the trash that's involved in the right. rest of the movie. So a five minute clip of Transformers is amazing. Two hours and 45 minutes is just unbearable. I remember I was like, they were in the spaceship and the girl is like being chased by robot dogs. And I was like, I'll be back in a minute and went to go take a long dump. Yeah. Sat on the toilet. <laughs> Number two. That's, and that was, that was on the poster too. Back. Yeah, uh, and, so good you'll take yeah, a thumb. Facebook. I was like, hmm, what else is, uh, any news feed stuff? <laughs> did, you, did you really just check out? Yeah, yeah. literally sat there for a, about five minutes. Uh, wash my hands. I was like, oh, maybe that scene's over. Well, that's just good hygiene. Ah! And, and open the door, and Dennis Zeng comes going. in, and we both looked at each other because we were all seeing the movie together because we we're going to do spoilers. Like, man. And I saw him, we both looked at each other. I was like, what's up, man? And he was like, hey. <laughs> he's like, I was like, yeah. We didn't even say anything. Was was just, I was like, you're taking a, the bathroom break too, right? And he's like, you just missed the most insane product placement I've ever oh, seen. Oh, the in my Bud life. Light. I missed the Bud yeah. Light scene. I was, uh, and now I'm angry. Yeah. And I might just use my powers to see free movies just to see that 15 seconds or yeah, 15, it's, it's, it's whatever, really just to see like that's a spoiler. Like, for, like you were saying, like he drives by another truck. Now I'm all okay. Yeah. yeah. Wing, 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 wing. Now yeah. I'm all purple with those. Yeah, I didn't like the way. I, it, it's just so okay, confusing. Well, that sound? The wing, 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 wing. Yeah, that's, a, that's the new transformer sound. <laughs> sound by JT. Yeah. Sound by market down through you wanna, could use. I don't want to waste any good directors. Sorry. Why, you don't, you don't, like, think, I don't. You don't think I, there's no there's no, no chance. It's done. Really. I would say Pirates of the Caribbean Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> Just like combine those two, make Johnny Jack Depp Sparrow a on the Dinobot. They already got yeah. John Goodman. <laughs> I'm from Frostbite. I won't show up. I'm a cigar truck. <laughs> Like, I could not stand, yeah. like, as a director of animation, I was horrified by how horrible the voiceover, the direction, they just, they just chucked voiceover randomly. Yeah. It was like, pan over and watch a bunch of stupid robots climb over buildings and <laughs> talking. There was That's why I, I lost my, I, I was so not into the movie. And it's like, all these people are like, uh, I'm sure you guys got to, dude, I thought, I thought, tra and this when I read somebody saying this, yeah. this is how their voice is to me. <laughs> Transformers was I'm awesome. Yeah. I thought the book was so cool. I like explosions and boobies and blah, 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 blah. I was like, I'm gonna see it five times, boy, Spider Man 2. That's what I hear when I hear, when I read that, that's in my mind. I'm like, you are so dumb. You can't but, not but wait, only but, not spell, but you're stupid. But, but to be, to be, to be that's fair. what happens in my brain. I'm Sugar Bear. I don't know who he is, but for real. But you can, fake, I mean, fake, fake, fake. My plan is is ruined again by those everything. Transformers yeah. and those stupid kids. They actually have a deleted scene where, right. yeah, the Scooby-Doo mask comes <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Wow.